Dr. Ernst Peebles is a professor at USF's College of Marine Science. He's studying the impacts of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill on fish and the biological systems of the Gulf of Mexico. He's doing this from an ecotoxicology standpoint. Our goals in the ecotoxicology role are primarily to detect exposure in fish, exposure to oil. Peebles can determine how much oil a fish has been exposed to by looking at their otolith. An otolith is a hard, stone-like object in the fish's skull that aids in hearing. They build up over time, they grow with the organism and end up uh, forming layers sort of like the, the like tree rings. And so we can retrospectively go back and analyze earlier points in time. We had our otolith microchemistry program up and running when the spill happened and that was a great asset to us. We didn't have any lead time getting ready to respond. We were ready right away. So what exactly is he looking for when he is detecting oil exposure? And what kinds of fish are being studied? We're looking at the trace metals that are known to be in the Macondo prospect. So we're specifically looking at the oil associated with the Deepwater Horizon spill. We're working with a wide range of fish. We're comparing highly migratory fish such as king mackerel with more reef-associated fishes such as red snapper. But we really are looking at a, a wide range, large and small predators and uh, you know, zooplanktivorous fish, herbivores, all, all types. Peebles doesn't just want to know how much oil the fish have been exposed to. He wants to know where the exposure took place. We need to know where the fish were when they were exposed. And so we have a new method using the eye lenses of the fishes that uh, can detect where they were in the Gulf of Mexico. This question of where coincides with another one of people's research endeavors. He's also tracking the general movement of fish in the Gulf. There's so much movement by the organisms in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, large and small, that uh, studying this movement allows us to establish the uh, connectivity between different parts of the Gulf. One way he does this is by completing larval fish surveys. Fish larvae are important components of the Gulf's food web and biological connectivity. In the case of the oil spill, uh, fish larvae were of primary concern due to their vulnerability. They're, they're largely planktonic. Uh, you can't get the older stages without the young stages surviving, and so people were very concerned about the uh, overlap between the spill and ichthyoplankton distributions. Dr. Ernst Peebles is looking at impacts on the Gulf's larger animals and his work encompasses a range of hundreds of miles. He is one of many scientists working to form a big picture analysis of the Gulf. To find out more about his research or his sea image colleagues, please visit our website.